Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, here to answer your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. The question I'm answering right now is what's in this significantly heavy, weighty, very white box from Stonemeyer Games. This is a shiny new copy of Charter Stone that I do have to thank Stonemeyer for sending us to review. I am really looking forward to checking this game out. I have heard fantastic things. Stonemeyer Games produces some of the best games on the market, and Charterstone is a legacy-style, competitive board game about building a fantasy village. The weight of this box has me intrigued. I have heard nothing but good things about it. I can't wait to crack this open. But before I do, I just want to say I do not plan to spoil anything. This is a spoiler-free unboxing of Charterstone. If there's sealed boxes, they're staying sealed. I will be flipping through the rule book, but if it says stop, I'm going to stop. I just want to show you what you would get opening this box before anything is unlocked, because I don't want to spoil it for you or me. So that said, I'm going to crack the shrink on this. We're going to tip the camera down, and let's take a look at what you get in the box for Charterstone from Stonemeyer Games. All right, so here you have my shiny new copy of Charger Stone. All I've done so far is cut the shrink wrap on this legacy style game. So Charter Stone plays one to six players, though it is recommended with at least two. And I've heard it's best with six. Now, I personally am planning to play it with four. So we'll see how that goes. Um, playing time is listed as 45 minutes to 75 minutes. I think that's per game. Obviously not for the whole campaign. All right, on top we have... <laughs> It says, please read this page before looking at anything else in the box. So I'm going to read this page. It also says, do not open anything unless specifically instructed. So we have the Chronicle here, and what it does say, it's a legacy game, which means you'll make permanent changes to the game, mostly in the form of writing on the board cards with markers provided by the players and with stickers. You will start out with access to only a small portion of the contents of this box. To prepare, there's a whole bunch of things. It says, look inside the index tuck box, remove the shrink wrap from each deck of cards, and put the decks back in the index. Do not look through the cards and do not shuffle them. They should be in numeric order. Read through the conical or let Watch It Played walk you through. So a shout out to uh, Mr. Rodney Smith there. It's not necessary to learn any rules before Charterstone's first game, but having at least one person who understands the course concept will improve the game, obviously. Check Stonemeyer Games FAQ to see if anything's been updated. Always a good call. And then when one to six players have gathered, extract the first card in the index and read the card out loud. Want to add or drop players? We recommend the same people play the entire thing. However, it's possible. It's good to know. Have a question while playing. If you don't want to spoil content, ask questions on Board Game Geek or the Charterstone Facebook group. Need replacement parts? Requested at this place. So we then have the Chronicle which obviously doesn't have a lot of rules in it yet, right? There's some setup here, but there's a whole bunch of gaps, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to flip through this quickly. And then we are going to move on to the Atoma, which is your usual Stonemeyer Games How to Play Solo. Again, not recommended. That's according to Board Game Geek. We have the Atoma rules, and then we have version 1.6 of the FAQ. This is awesome. Okay, so the rule book already told you, go to Stonemeyer Games online and check for the FAQ. But in addition to that, uh, what Jamie has done is provided you with the most recent FAQ as of this printing of the game. This is obviously not the first printing. So that's really cool to see. Now we're going to look at some of the components here. No clue. The board, which I, I dig. There's there's something about that art style. Uh, it reminds me of, of something, and I can't place what. So obviously a score track on the outside. So now I don't expect this all to fit on my camera but we will see what we can get out here for you to see it is two-sided that's good to know we have you can see the majority of this so i'm just going to pan it a bit so you can see a score track there's obviously a water track up here there's a guild post spot to put cards down at the bottom here and then there is a dark looks like mining track down in this corner we have spots to write on the board and we have the commons which includes a zeppelin the charter stone the grandstand, the market, and the treasury, all with some symbols next to them. So I'm going to bring that up so you can kind of see the comments. So this is what you start with on the board. Now what I'm going to do is flip this over, 
And it looks like the exact same thing. So I don't know what the difference is. Perhaps it's so you can play through the game twice. I don't know. It looks like the same commons with the same stuff. It looks like the same tracks, including the same closed port and reputation on the side. So I'm not sure what the difference is from the two sides of the board. But you do get a full two-sided board. It's nice and thick. That is a solid, chunky board. It also has a nice texture on it that I can tell is going to be good to write on, which is awesome. So I will point out, this is good to know, that currently, as of December 2nd, 2021, this is the most recent FAQ. So I don't need to go online. We have another board to put cards on. We have what makes me think all of a sudden I have a war game here or something. We have a chart that tells you crate, read first, read second, see instructions, gain, general supply, and tuck boxes. I don't know. Uh, maybe a reference for rebuilding it. It's the index guide. It just says to look at it when opening a crate. A lot of detail there. So we have literally just a, a, a filler box here. Now it did tell me to open up the index box. So I'm just going to pick these up. There's some weight to this. I am not going to open it. I'm so tempted. I'm not going to open it. We have the scriptorum. Then we have the index. Now this is the one it told us to open. So I'm gonna open this. Oh, weird. Okay. That obviously was not supposed to happen. So what we had happen here is the glue gave way on the script horn. So this is meant to be closed, glued on here. And it's magnetic, which would be really cool if it didn't just break apart. So a magnetic index you would open up to get to your index, and what it told you to do was to remove the shrink on these and put them back without looking at them. So and it did say read scriptorum number one, which I don't see, which is possibly at this end. Yes, there is story number one. We just have a bunch of text. I am not going to do this because, as I said, I don't want to spoil anything. We do have another copy of this. So I will say I am disappointed that glue gave way, like instantly. So I have an unglued box here that should open and close. Like, hey, look at your index. So slide that back in for now. I will probably just take some glue and try to put that back together. Uh, we have a charter crest, so charter chest, which I'm gonna kind of show you this. It's got some capacity symbols or some glory on the side. Again, not gonna open it. Then we have another, so these all say charter chest but they have different symbols on them, which I am reminded of Gloomhaven. So there are a number of those. Uh, what's a little hard to see is they are in different colors. Like this one is green, as well as having icons. The fact they have icons is a nice touch. This one's kind of brown. You're obviously gonna be writing on the tuck boxes as well. Now my guess is each of these are for the players. Again, this is pure conjecture, but there are six of them and it is a six player game. We then have the archive, which feels like it's completely empty. And then we have something marked one, two, three, four down here. Smaller, ooh, little tiny boxes marked one, two, three, four. This has zero weight to it. Two, three. Oh, this has some symbols on it. And four. Nice chunky box, and that's it. That's what we have. So the scriptorum, I'm gonna guess, is going to be the big component. But because it didn't tell me to open that, I'm not gonna open it right now. So what I am gonna do, yeah, so there's just no good way to pull this out without having put pressure on that lid. So a little disappointment there. Other than that, looks fascinating, but there's not a lot to see. There's not a lot to get you excited here. So as an unboxing, Lots of stuff to check out, but I can't show you any of it. And I'm very curious as to what's going to happen next and where this goes. But not a lot to see. Very big board. Surprisingly large box. I expected the board to be the size of the box. Uh, the various rules. And again, I just noticed the Atoma even has spots to add additional rules. So the Atoma rules actually will update over time. I will not be playing the game that way. And then while we have the, the rest of these instructions, which are going to be, I'm uh, probably going to put these aside and read these before our first game. 
which I'm assuming something's going to tell me to open some other stuff. So we actually have some components because there were no components really to show you there. But nothing here said read through the open up the scriptorum. So, oh, there you go. There should be a general supply before game one during the campaign. Anyway. So there you have what you get in the box, at least a spoiler free look. So you didn't get to see everything inside of what you get for Charterstone. A village building legacy game from Stonemeyer Games, designed by Jamie Stegmeyer himself. All right, there you have it. What you get in the box for Charterstone from Stonemeyer Games, designed by Jamie Stegmeyer himself. A legacy village, fantasy village building game that I am really looking forward to checking out. We took a look inside the box and we saw lots of other sealed boxes and a sheet that told us not to open anything and lots of cards. And that's about all we got to see, but I did want to keep this spoiler free. So at least you get an idea of the amount of components you get in this box. Uh, it does play one to six players. I will be probably playing through a four player game myself. I am really looking forward to checking this out. Now there was one minor disappointment when I tried to open the index box. I forget what it was called already. Uh, the lid popped off and this is a nice magnetic box. So the glue they used did not stand the test of time for however long this copy might have sat on the shelf before I got it. Now, I'm probably just going to fix that with some white glue myself, but that is a disappointment. You pick up a new game, you don't expect a component like that to fall apart. So, slight disappointment there, but overall, excited to check this game out. We haven't played a Legacy game in quite some time, and I'm looking forward to diving into this one, especially playing a competitive Legacy game. So, that'll be a new one for us. So, there you have my look inside the box, spoiler-free, of Charterstone. Now, as for my thoughts on this game, the best place to find those will be on social media, where I'm sure I will be sharing Facebook posts and Instagram pictures of our progress through the campaign. Uh, again, trying to keep things as spoiler free as I can. You can find that all over social media, tabletop bellhop, one word, nice and simple, right? You can also, will be able to find a full review of the game on the tabletop bellhop blog at tabletopbellhop.com. That's going to take a while. Because you have to play through 12 or 15 games of this before you get to the end. So I don't want to post a full review until we've gotten to the end. But what I will be doing is sharing thoughts as we play through on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Tune in to that. We record live Wednesday nights on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop. With full episodes coming out on Tuesdays, both as an audio podcast and on YouTube as a video show. That's about it. If you do dig this content, it'd be awesome if you hit up patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop, or you can get some awesome bonus content like bonus audio and access to our private discord. It would be awesome if you headed over there and tipped your bellhop. That's it for my unboxing of Charterstone from Stonemeyer Games. Good night and game on.